mental persuasion to get him the hell away from my daughter. You sorted the flowers for Ruby and her present? Yeah. And I want her birthday. But you don't want to go believing everything you're told? I trust his judgment. Yeah, well, that's your choice. What are you doing with my daughter? Come on now, Mr. Allen. I'm not going to go telling tales, am I? I mean, talking about your girl with other blokes. I mean, that's it's private. But especially not with their dads. I mean, that's... Sorry, it's just wrong. So, uh, how are you finding it? Thinking about what you said, Mr. Allen. Sounds a bit like a threat. It is. But why would you threaten me, Mr. Allen? Because you've got some nasty little scheme where you are trying to steal my daughter's money. Have I? You have. Oh. I wouldn't want to... Sean Slater. Here we come. Now this is interesting. Sean is a psychopath. We realise that. So, he grew up with Gene Slater as his mum. Brian Slater as his dad. Brian dies when he's uh, 15. And... He feels it's his fault. Apparently it is his fault. He punched him the day before and then the next day his dad fell off um a building site so gene he was always embarrassed of gene and stacy was like his girl he was like even though he wasn't always there for he was in the army he loved his sister but gene embarrassed him but gene smothered him gene loved him and would have done anything for him because she felt guilt towards him she felt so sorry for that boy for losing his dad at such a young age interesting dynamics it's gonna i'm going to the branning soon as well and how they're all like one on their own carol susie jack max they're all one entities and how that works in a family right so susie i mean sean so he's the eldest sibling he felt the responsibility he had a sick mother he, his sister wasn't sick at the time but it was his kid sister at the end of the day and big brothers will be like that they can be teasers they can do anything but when i think when it's just you two it's a bit different so astrologically speaking he reminds me very much of my cousin who's not with us anymore sean how he acts society he's got very virgo sarcastic dry humor but he's got very capricorn traits too with that sarcasm you know very dry wit um not run by his emotions so much you could say you could say he's into um um you could say he's emotional so what does that put what does this put him as right so <laughs> I'm wanting to go with Cancer or Capricorn Moon. I can't make my mind up on this, and I shall tell you why. Because I said about the wit and how he could take things. That could more be a show for society. So that could be more of a Capricorn rising tree. So I've got my cellar night here. Always have a crystal with you guys. Always have a crystal. I recommend it. And it's some around your neck as well, and some granite water. No, not granite. Anyway. Um, I'm coming off track here. So, it's wanting me to put Cancer Moon because they can switch off their emotions or too, believe it or not, they're a water sign. I know. They go into their shell, they hide, they run away. And they can do that very easily. Um, and they can bear responsibilities of the family, but it's not his soul who he is. So the Capricorn's coming in is that psychopathic, dry sense of humour side very much so and then i'm going to give him a virgo sun because then so there's that cold earthness i've known someone like this and when there's a lot of earth in the chart that can do that can make you cold callous and seem switched off to society and problems so the virgo sun can make him attractive talkative gets him gets him around with his wit with his charm with his character with his words and then with the virgo sun he's going to have a virgo mercury as well using and basically sell the snow to an eskimo and that is how those people operate. So yeah, that's how those people operate. And when you've got a good Mercury sign like that, you are going to be working in that way. And it's a good sign to have your Mercury. And it's like in ex exaltation or domicile, whatever you want to call it, yeah? No, it's domicile. It's exaltation, okay? Domicile. Anyway. So there you go, Virgo, good with words, good at expressing, mutable sign. So he's got the cardinal energy of being a leader, 
and she has with the Capricorn and Cancer but then they're op opposing each other so his rising and his moon are opposing each other so how he comes across his society in public image yeah that also comes with your midheaven is opposing his moon sign how he feels emotionally and that makes so much sense to me that's how I've put it together and I like to do these videos like I don't really put much preparation I like to just go if I can and then I also feel like he has this Mars in Capricorn I know I'm trying to give this guy a heavy Capricorn earth trope but I feel that and it's what makes it heavy and it's what makes it sit right he's even got the, he's he's even got like um Rob Kaczynski has even got the shape of a Capricorn rising that strong jaw and the yeah intense eyes and the nose almost as well um so yeah and having a mars in capricorn makes a dead psychopath who doesn't care and um, obviously spongen has it uh julia fox has it uh, uh, uh anna nicole's got it uh lindsay lohan's got it okay and it's a thing for older men a lot of the time but yeah he's known to men so um and then his Venus, where I think his Venus is. So he's a Virgo. So there's some possibilities here. There's only a few possibilities. He can either be in Leo, Virgo, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Cancer, or going the opposite way, Libra, Scorpio, Sag. I'm going to lean for Scorpio there, his Venus sign. And then his chart ruler would be his Saturn. So his Saturn. His Saturn's going to be in Sag, I'm afraid, so that is going to be his chart ruler. <laughs> Guys, I'm not kidding you. Chart ruler Saturn, okay. What does Saturn rule? The father. He supposedly was responsible for his father's death. Karmic debt. You can't make these things up. And I know they give people birthdays in it. And actually, he is a Capricorn in the show. So, and I don't do that. If people tell me, no, they're not that sign, Cherry. In the show, they're this sign. I'm like, I don't care. I'm, I'm not going on what the sign give them as a star sign. That doesn't matter to me at all. I will go on how I feel of their energy and what sits right. It's not about their birthday, in it. I do this when I watch TV shows. I'm just like, what could they be? What? Because <laughs> when you're like that and you're into your craft, you do that constantly of the world. You just want to know constantly. And with men, they think you're fancy when you ask them that. No, I don't for a start, okay? Because you don't fancy me either. So there. Let me move on to Stace. I think I've done Stace before. But here we go. Stace, to me, I did it last time. And what did it jump out with me as? Right. Kind of like. She's very like her actual son, son in real life, Lacey Turner. Uh, is that her name? Called Lacey Turner? Yeah, is that her name? Completely gone. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so Stacey Slater is at Aries. Come on, how is this chick not an Aries with a. So she's a Marjonian woman, she's sexual, she's there, she's intense. She thinks she's got the mental health problems. So her moon. I thought I should have said her moon was in Scorpio. It doesn't have to be to be like that. She's got a Capricorn moon. Yep, she's got a Capricorn moon. And that's supposing her brother's moon, so that's where they get upset with each other. So Stace is going to have that going on for her. So she comes across as very nonchalant, doesn't care either, but she is emotional. She will give people a chance. She will give them the benefit of the, fit of the doubt and try from a young age. She, Her storyline with the bipolar in, in 2009 made me realise I was sick. And I was that was years before I got diagnosed, yeah. So she was so good at that. So I really have a lot of respect for her for that. So she is an Aries sun, a Scorpio rising, and a. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna give her a Scorpio moon, but she's gonna have an Aries Venus. Yeah, she's gonna have an Aries Venus. 
and her Mars is definitely going to be in Leo. Look at her, she's got that lion-like face. I mean, in life she could probably go with Leo, really a rising. But because of how intense she acts, I'm giving that Scorpio. I know she's a Scorpio in the show. See, I'm doing it again, but I didn't mean to them. And I didn't mean to them last time. So, yeah, Scorpio, 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 Scorpio with the Leo. And then they square each other on the chart, so, because they're both fixed signs. So, she's got that Mars alien. She's a very masculine woman. Not in looks. She's got a masculine chart to me. That's how I see it. That's how it goes. 